Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. In my crafting area, I am so super psyched right now. I just today was like a light bulb moment happened. And I was like, when I sit down at my craft table and I'm just, you know, rolling beads or doing whatever, I would like to be chatting with you because it's my therapy. I have said this before and I will say it always. YouTube is my therapy. I absolutely love it. And now that it's also my career, more on that very soon. I know I keep telling you guys that I will be divulging my earnings with you so you can get a very realistic view of what it's like to have a YouTube channel. And I promise I will get to that. But I just thought, how awesome for me if I can sit here and chat with you guys while I'm just crafting and just, you know, I can show you the stuff I make. It's not a tutorial. I'm not going to be teaching you how to do it. But I think some of you who are not crafters don't care to know how to do it. Those of you who do want to know how to do things, you can always leave me comments and say, hey, how did you do that? And I can do a video to put on my craft channel. So I do have a craft channel. Right now it's called Darlene's Crafty Crew and there is a link for it somewhere down below. So I'm look. yes, I have, I don't think you can see him. Tigger, there he is. There's my baby. This is our neighbor's cat, Tigger. And he visits almost every day. He just came in. It's like he knows that I'm going to sit down and try to accomplish something. So he has to be in the house just to bother me. But And somebody asked if the neighbors know that Tigger visits. And yes, they do. I don't want anybody to think that I just uh, hold neighbors' cats hostage. They know he visits. I asked them. Gee, it had to be like... Six years ago, when I very first, the very first summer that I had Skylar here, when she was still just two, I asked them if they minded if the cat came in, because she loved the kitty cat, and uh, they said, sure, no problem. So it's been ever since then that Tigger comes and visits. He's a good kitty. We love him. Anyway, so this is going to be my new craft vlogging series. Jeez, it's possible that I could get totally addicted to this, because my passion is crafts has been from as far as I can remember. And I can't even imagine anything more satisfying for me than to sit here and craft and chat with you guys. I mean, how do I deserve such an awesome life? <laughs> There's not gonna be any rhyme or reason to these videos. I'm just gonna do whatever. And I can show you things and, but like I said, it's going to be um, not a tutorial. So the first thing is I made some beads last night for Skylar, and I will show you. I make tons of beads for her in this basket. My goal is to have this basket filled to the top. These are all paper beads. So when I'm not making beads to sell, I just make simple beads. These are just magazine pages that you can even see some of the magazine color through it, and I just painted them red. And it's just going in her box of mixed up beads. And, whoops. And I desperately need styrofoam. This aluminum plate is was well, good, but I need better. I don't know. What should I do? What should I do today? I do have beads to make. See, where are they? Where are... This is what the beads look like that I sell at the old timer shop for 40 cents a bag. And I know it's very, very hard for you to, to get a good image with the glare and I put a little topper on these bags that says what they are hand painted these are all hand painted beads that I make I guess I'll just work on some of those where can I put all my stuff so for instance this is what the paper looks like to make those beads and it's just I just wash the paper with some color and then on this end I do whatever design I want and you can see this one's got just some weird lines and there is a little bit of white paint that I don't think is showing in the camera and it's pinkish and purple and a little bit of white paint and I have a little bit of glitter in there that also isn't showing and then I just cut one inch strips and I roll those on a skewer and that becomes a bead so I'm just gonna start cutting it bothers me when the cat is on the back of my chair because I don't want to knock him off Kind of feels good. I'm moving you backwards. Oh, don't look at junk back there. It's all junk in my house. Uh, so 
so um the cutest boy I ever saw was sipping side the throw was strong anybody ever sing that I come out with weird stuff now, I did tell my mother that I'm going to be recording off and on. This is like one of these things where I'm going to you know, sit and chat with you, and then I might push pause as I go do something else. This is just my little mini breaks in between my work. So I warned my mother that I might be recording, but if she needs me, she's more than welcome to interrupt, and I promised her that I would cut that out of the video if she's seen or heard. Do I have to keep that promise? <laughs> I love my paper cutter. I'm so easy to please. What I really love is I love my new YouTube family. I've got to say so. I've got to say it. I mean, it's just, I am very, very lucky. Opening my glue. So for those of you who are curious, I will at least just show you. See, it's just a strip of paper. And with the little fancy on the bottom here. And then I just take this and I just, very hard to show you, start wrapping it around a skewer. Then I add a little bit of glue on the paper, like that. And I just rub the glue down and I just roll. So, like I said, I'm not going to be doing all the rolling here on camera. I just want to chat with you guys. So what was I just talking about? I already don't know. What was I going to say? I'm sure it was of great importance. Oh yeah, once again, I can't thank you guys enough that when I was like two weeks ago considering having to leave my deals blogging career to try to make a go with a YouTube career, because you do make money with YouTube videos, or you can, and I'm making very little, but I have high hopes, and that's one of the things I will be talking about in a future video. See? Pretty bead. You know, it's, it was just a coincidence that when I was having to make that decision is just shortly after that hair cutting video of mine went somewhat viral. It was over 90,000 views when I looked at it last night. You know, I started just getting all kinds of comments and new subscribers and I was like, it's time. This is when I can leave my deals business and move on to something else because I had this whole new family who is awesome. You guys are just awesome. I mean, it's just, I love the comments that you leave me. It's just very uplifting. You guys are, for the most part, very kind to me and I appreciate that so much. And when I say for the most part, it is very, very seldom that I get any kind of comment that I need to delete. And so I'm just lucky in that way. And I uh, just want to thank you. You don't know how much it means to me. I mean, it means everything. Everything to me to be able to do this and try to make a career out of YouTube and just have you with me for the ride. And I just appreciate it very much. Itchy eye. Itchy. I just did a quickie video to ask you guys if it was okay for me to do this, how you'd feel about it, because I don't want to overwhelm everybody and, you know, like be throwing videos at you. I, you know, I even think it's weird to do a video every single day, but Jesus, some days that I do two or three, but they're different things. Like it'll be at YouTube tips or, um, you know, now these vlogs, craft vlogs, or like I always say, anything that you're not interested, you're more than welcome to just skip by it. Sorry that I keep looking down, but I kind of gotta pay attention to what I'm doing here a little bit. Another bead. Whoopsie. No idea what I was talking about. So we'll just move on to another subject. That happens a lot because I lose my train of thought because I'm thinking of a bunch of things at once, like the cat behind me and the glue on my fingers and whatever else I'm talking about and my runny nose and... <laughs> And my mother listening. She's probably at the door with her walker and a glass to the door. <laughs> Did you ever do that as a kid? It used to be fun. It kind of works, I think. At least I want to think it worked. Just put an empty glass up against a wall to hear somebody on the other side. 
Oh, yeah, okay, so I know what I was saying. I put a video up today, just a quick uh, question for you guys. I like that. I can ask you guys a question or leave you a message, and like within seconds, I've got replies. You guys are awesome. Thank you for that. So please subscribe so that when I do ask questions, you can be part of the solution. So somebody happened to mention in one of the comments... Uh, something about, why did she say that? Oh, what, sweetie? Are you hungry for some food? Tigger's jealous. He's not getting my attention. You are. Anyway, someone asked me if I ever met anybody famous. Oh, well, now you're going to start. Uh, he wants to go sit behind the, the blind so he can look out the window. I'm very distracted right now. Story to be continued. Tigger, you're scaring me, honey. I even have the TV on. How rude of me. I guess I could have at least turned that off, huh? Okay. I don't know if you can see, but Tigger is here visiting. <laughs> so I'm going to feed him and then put him out. And then I'll get back to you. Okay, so here is what I did. Tigger likes his little snack. I only feed him a very tiny bit because I don't want to disrupt his eating habits at his own home, but they know that I that I feed him a little bit. He's a very fussy cat. And I um, did that. Then he wanted to go out, so he's out, so I'm not distracted. And I muted my TV, so I'm not distracted by that. And I went and did a couple things on my... Um, Simply Shaw's blog and now I'm back to this and I also went and looked at more replies from the question that I put out there you guys are just so cool I mean it's just so cool to ask a question and get tons of replies so fast and everyone was like yes you can do the craft vlog so thank you because you know what I already decided I was doing it anyway I already like it so I'm glad that you agree <laughs> Well, maybe you don't agree. You haven't seen one yet. I do know a lot of you were saying, oh, yeah, I love crafts. So just remember, this is going to be not tutorials as much as just a vlog. I'm just going to chat with you and do things while chatting with you. And I just love it. So thank you for all the feedback, you guys. I mean, I really appreciate that. I want to continue to do YouTube, but obviously I need to do what you guys like or it's not going to work for me. It's not going to work for you. It just won't work unless we're both happy, right? Can't be just me happy all the time. <laughs> if I only could ever be happy all the time. Anyway, so one of you, I think I was trying to say earlier, one of you asked me something about if I ever met anybody famous and I don't remember what prompted that question. Anyway, yes, I have met somebody famous. Not that it's a very interesting story, but I'm going to tell it to you. I had gone with my mother, so this is back when she could still walk, and um, she can walk, but it's more like, you know, a little, oh, 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 just with her walker. But anyway, we had gone to visit my brother, who is now dead, and uh, in Arizona, and, you know, of course, she still had her walker, but so in the airport, I would get a wheelchair for her, so this is, hmm, I'm trying to think of, he died in 06, so I think this was in 04 or 05, so we're talking over 10 years ago. We were going through the airport at Phoenix, Arizona, and that happens to be where Alice Cooper lives, and we're just walking through the airport. Now, first you have to know, my husband loves Alice Cooper, I mean loves him. I don't know if that's something I should brag about. <laughs> I'm not bragging. He just loves Alice Cooper. I like Alice Cooper. And in a weird way, I think he's kind of handsome. Uh, in a very weird way. I just, I just like him. I just do. Can't help it. So we're just going through the airport and right in front of me, just, I mean, it's Alice Cooper. I mean, I just knew it. Even my mother knew it. I looked at her and she goes, isn't that that guy? And I said, I can't even believe you know that, Mom. So I was like, if it was just for myself, I would have never attempted to go up to him and ask for an autograph. But it's because of my husband, who was not with us. It was just my mother and I had gone to visit my brother. And um, 
I was like, oh my God, I gotta get, I've got to get an autograph for Andy. So I um, got brave, got a piece of paper and a pencil, and he had gone off to the side of the airport where it must have been like um, when luggage comes off a private plane or something because he was the only one standing there and the belt that goes around was just really little. So he was just standing there waiting. And now I had been walking through an airport in Phoenix, Arizona in the summertime. So you know what, right? I was hot, soaking wet, dripping, sweaty, hot. And I moseyed on over to Alice Cooper with a piece of paper and a pen in my hand. And I was, just felt like a complete idiot. And other people were like looking at him, but nobody approached him except for me, you know. And I just felt so stupid. And I was just so afraid he was going to be mad. And I get up to him and I'm now instantly starstruck. I mean, I never thought that it would affect me like that to see someone. Gotta blow my nose. Hang on. But when I was right up there next to him, I was like completely dumbfounded. I couldn't, nothing, nothing was coming out of my mouth. I didn't know what to do, what to say. And this is the honest truth. He looks at me and he says, are you going to bite me? <laughs> I was like, hadn't thought about it, but maybe I'd like to. I mean, it was like... <laughs> So, and then, then I said the most ridiculous thing. I said, my husband is your biggest fan. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, could I have thought of anything more original? At least I didn't say I was. <laughs> Oh, so I said, could I please have your autograph for him? And he goes, yes, what's his name? And I said, Andy. And he signed whatever piece of junk mail I grabbed out of my purse. And I have that somewhere. Uh, uh, gee, uh, is it upstairs where I could find it? Let me go look. I'm going to go look. Hang on. I'm sad. I couldn't find the autograph. But what I did is I knew I had this. <laughs> somewhere in my room and I thought maybe I had put the autograph in there these are just some pictures that my husband took when he was when Alice Cooper was in a concert years ago and uh, I'm sure Andy doesn't whoops I'm sure Andy doesn't even realize that he left these here because we live in separate states my husband and I Pretty cool pictures, though. I, I, I don't know if he actually took these or, or what. I'll have to ask him. But anyway, I was hoping that the autograph would have been in there. I know I have it somewhere in some junk drawer. One of these days, I'll find it. And I'll show it to you. I was so happy, though, that I found more of these plastic bags because I used those to bag the beads that I showed you. Likey this for the thrift store. I mean, I always call it the thrift store for the old timer shop. So very happy that I found that. So that was cool because I only had like four left and I was like, I got to order some bags. All right, back to beading. But anyway, this is fun. Is it weird that I feel like you're right here with me? I don't know. Who cares? Who cares if it even is weird, right? I can talk to you, can't I? All I want and pretend you're right here answering me. Yeah, okay. I got it. <laughs> and I do feel like you're with me because when I took my little break there and I went back to my computer, you guys are like, yes, please do the craft vlogs. And I'm like, I am. So, awesome. I do want to say that these vlogs, I won't be able to spend Tons of time editing, so I'm sorry if you hear a lot of things like and um or <laughs> sniffs or because my allergies or whatever. I mean, I have a feeling I could get very addicted to this because crafting and talking to you, I can't I can't imagine a better combination. So, you know, I don't want to spend hours editing these videos. So, I will uh, be posting some with. I'm sure much needed edits that I won't be making. 
Well, I don't want to let this one run too long since it's my first one. And I just finished the beads, so let me show them to you. Except they need to have their coat of uh, Mod Podge that I do after the fact, after they dry. But uh, these are the beads that I just made. And I will let those dry. And I'll probably upload this video right now just so I can get one under my belt and see if you guys enjoyed it at all because what you like or don't like determines what I do or don't do. Except I am the boss lady. So if there's something I want to do and you don't even like it, I don't care. I'm still doing it. So there. <laughs> All right. I'm so excited. I'm like a child. This is like, I feel like a child again. 55-year-old child. And, um, but really, seriously, thank you. Thank you for being so understanding, for answering questions when I ask. I mean, I just, I just love you guys. Thanks. Okay. Bye.